Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go find out about that story that we printed off. We're going to find out if that story was any good or if we're in trouble. I'm thinking it's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe it's going to turn out that something went wrong, the theater flopped, and I shouldn't have given it such a positive review. I was kind of debating when I was doing it if I should give it a good review or bad because, uh, I don't know, the guy just seemed really shifty. But we're going to find out exactly what's going on. Great work on that story yesterday. As promised, I got your pay ready. 100 bucks, just like I said. Hope you don't mind getting paid in cash. It helps the, keep the man from getting his unfair cut, if you know what I mean. Patrick hands you $100. You beat me about something urgent. Another story? We need someone right away. We received an anonymous tip about a disgruntled worker who was recently fired from the high-rung ad agency. He's a notable luminary in the ad world. An interview with him would make an excellent human interest story. We need you to go talk to him and get the facts. We need total coverage. So you want me to go and spend my day with a disgruntled office worker? I'm interested, but that doesn't sound particularly safe for me. No need to worry about that. The tip did say something about a box of ammo at his desk, but there's been no word on a gun. Besides, that's what the danger pays for? Get this done and I'll pay you double for this? We'll even run it on the front page tomorrow. 200, eh? You're lucky I need the money. <laughs> so where does this guy live? He's at the Regal apartment complex, just across the street in apartment 203. Head back where you were done and use any of the workstations to type it out. All right, wish me luck. Wow, $200. Yeah, that's about probably what my life is worth. Sounds about accurate. All right, so... Crap, where in the hell did he say that he was again? <laughs> news in tomorrow's issue of the Daily News Times. Oh, there will be. Can I go in here? Door appears to be locked. Okay. I wrong ad agency. Zoom in. Hey, you must be the kid Larry called us about. Sorry to tell you, but we needed someone ASAP and the job's already been filled. I guess I'll have to find another job then. Thank you for your time. Oh, I didn't see you there. If you need something, Bailey will be able to help you. He's the fellow with the big mustache over by the photocopier. I'm saying we can't let the client hear about this or they are going to go with those idiots at Concha and Wolframe. Sorry, business talk, pal. Real private. If you need something, go talk to Bailey and he'll sort you out. Anyways, you catch the game last night? Yeah, business talk. Okay. Don't take this personally, buddy, but you're kind of cramping my space and I've got a lot of work to do. Go talk to Bailey over by the copier if you need something. Okay. Where's the copier? Oh, I already talked to him. Jim, I had to let him go. I can't have that kind of ridiculous insubordination on my hands right now. Sorry, we're not talking. Take him walking and stay. If you need something, Bailey should be able to help you. I don't know, Jim. What would you do? Honestly, you should have heard this lunatic. What did he say? What's going on? Look, I need this coverage. I don't know where he's hanging out. Oh, shit. Found any here if you're in. Lagomoth Dungeon Hearts. Okay, cool. No, I don't care. I need... I need to find this guy. Alright, Regal Apartment Complex. I assume this is the place. Yep, Regal Apartments. Alright. So there is a reason why this place exists. I don't think anyone's home. Oh, here we go. This must be it. Oh, this guy. Oh, hello there. You must be a reporter from Daily News Times. Welcome. Please come in. Oh, my God. You. Yeah, I am. How did you know that? Well, I was the one who left the tip. I have a few things I need to make public. First, though, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. I don't think that's how an interviews usually work, for sure. Have you ever worked to, to the bone only to find nobody appreciated it? Does a legacy of effort mean anything in this world anymore? Of course, but not all, all appreciate it. Nothing lasts forever. Of course, but not all appreciate it. Truly great work lasts forever, even if it's not appreciated in its time. Hmm, interesting. I guess even Picasso was called crazy back in this day. Do you ever feel like people control you? If the best way to keep somebody totally complacent is with a kind word and a smile, then how can you ever trust anyone? You need to trust to survive. It's a scary thing trusting someone else, but without trust, how can we function? 
You need to have faith in people from time to time to get by. I guess that's true. If we ever trusted people's authenticity, it would be very hard to function in a society. If someone wrongs you, can you ever truly look the other way? Can a person learn to accept that sometimes you'll wind up being the prey? You can't let people screw you. You can't be on top forever. If it's a doggy dog world, then you can't let yourself be a victim. You need to take charge and show them who's boss by whatever means you can. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have said that one. Ah, oh, that's a harsh truth. I suppose some people are just victims and others are just predators. It's the way the world works, I guess. Oh, shit. Why are some people so willing to destroy the lives of others just to get ahead what little they can? What drives them to sabotage others for success? Only insecure people do that. Only smart people do that. Only insecure. In my experiences, it's the insecure folks who can't prove their worth on their own that need to climb on other people's backs to find what they want. Oh, that's interesting. I've never considered it as a sign of personal weakness before. When you see wrongs in the world, are you compelled to speak up? Why do some choose to stay quiet in the face of awful while others don't? Self-preservation is important. Only cowards need defense. Uh, uh, Self-preservation is important. If we all went and put ourselves on the line every, for every little thing we should have, then we'd always be in danger ourselves. Yes, I suppose. Try and do right for someone who has their back against the wall can leave you in the firing squad sites too. Have you ever made an assumption that you wish you hadn't made before? What can we do when our gut feelings are telling us someone that has devious thoughts? Circumstances are often misunderstood. Your gut's usually right. Uh, what can we do when your feelings are telling us somebody's devious thoughts? Circumstances are often misunderstood. Your gut's usually right. Some people get hung up on assumptions, but I've often found that circumstances can frequently be understood. We never see the whole story until the end, right? Ah, I see. As much as our life experience tries to inform us, we can often be misguided by it. We assume out of necessity only. Well, you've given me a lot to think about. I apologize this is more than a little bit unconventional. I hope you got what you needed for your article. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. There's something I need to get done. Are you sure? Okay, thanks. I'd like to ask a few questions. I'm not sure I'll be able to write a story out of all that. Do you mind if I ask you a few more questions about why I'm here? Of course, please ask anything you wish. Well, tell me about how I run ad agency. What can you tell me about the time with a high-rung ad agency? What kind of business is it? Well, high-rung is an advertising agency. Their business is getting people to buy things they probably don't need. I worked there as the mouth of the organization. My words persuaded others to feel worse about their lives so they would buy what we were selling. You can only speak lies so long before your life becomes one. Well, what were all those questions about? What do, you, do you mind me asking what all those questions were about? That was some pretty heavy stuff. Suffice to say that I've been seeking an answer I don't think I can find on my own. Questions of this nature often need different perspectives to solve. Well, who are you exactly? So I know a little about you, but who are you exactly? I'm nobody. Nobody special. Come on, there's got to be something you can say for yourself. Well, you know the boring bits of my biography by now, I'll assume. I guess the only thing I could add is that I see myself as someone who saw the world's awfulness and rejected it to a fault. Well, uh, I heard a... Uh, oh, what? Shit, stop trying. There we go. That's all. Well, I guess that's everything. You know, if you have anything to add or have anything to say, you can reach me at the paper's office. Thank you, Bit Booty. I truly, usually appreciate your time. Goodbye. Looks like Jack locked the door. He probably just needs some time alone. Please don't kill yourself. Please don't kill yourself. <laughs> Please don't fuck this up. I sure hope he didn't kill himself. Who's this? Hey, Bit Booty. Shit, I haven't seen you in almost a year. How are things going? It's me, Juliet. From Larry's party. You and Boot Biggie still knocking boots? No. We, uh, broke up. Huh? That's too bad. That book or whatever's still coming along? You didn't realize it yet, did you? Please tell me you have, like, a million bucks. I could totally borrow some right now. Yeah, I never finished it. What about you? What are you doing these days? Uh, just picked up some bullshit work doing some copywriting for a soda company or something. It was really dull work until all this office drama started rearing its ugly head. Some people just can't get along, can they? Anyways, I'm sure you got stuff to do. I won't keep you any longer. It was really nice catching up. Likewise. That's random. I'm gonna go see if there's anything up with her. Where it must be here. Oh, guess not. I don't know. All right, time to write me a paper. I got this interview filed, so it's gonna make paper tomorrow morning. Hmm, where to start? Phone's ringing. Hello? 
Big Booty, it's Jack. I wanted to thank you for stopping by today. You really did give me a lot to think about. I've been on the verge of making a very important decision about my life, and I want to say that you've helped me come to a conclusion. I'm happy knowing someone else out there understands me. Please know that I truly appreciate the new perspective you gave me. I'm going to be leaving Dubstown within the next few days. I wanted to extend the invitation to you. I know you've been looking to leave as well. You don't need to answer now, but I want you to know that you don't need to go it alone. You found a friend in me, and I'm happy to help. Aww! It's the least I can do, considering what you've done for me. Thank you, Bit Booty. Well, uh, thanks, Jack. It was nice talking to you. Likewise. You know where to find me. Aww! Looks like I got a ride out of the town. San Verdano, here I come. Yay! Oh, everything worked out great. That's awesome. He's not gonna kill himself, and I got a ride. Like, this is... Uh, that's awesome. What a day. It's nice I was able to make a new friend. That may be exactly what Jack needs right now. Alright, did I... So did I finish it? Alright, awesome. I think I finished it. I'm gonna go talk to the boss. Good work on the Jack article. It was really... It really was a fascinating read. Jack certainly is an interesting fellow. He really exposed the dirty underbelly of the ad agency world. Yeah, $200. Oh, this is great. This is all great. Alright, now what to do with the rest of my time? I wonder if there's any other work I can find around town or something. Where's my stamina at? No, oh, I'm like full. Alright. So I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna go jerk around for a bit until I find something to do. Wait, what? Whoa, there's a sign on the door saying there was some sort of an accident or something. The whole place is shut down while the police are... Wait, what? Was that Jack? Jack was talking about snapping inside there. That's weird. There's a lot of people out here now. Poverty doesn't buy happiness. That's true. You got some nerve showing up. What? I heard about your article in the paper. Big lot of help that did us. The bulldozers should be here any day now. What? I didn't. I think I'm going to move back in with my mom. Ha, if only real life had cheat codes. I wonder if I should just leave town. That's a dog? That's not like a dog. What did I do? Looks like Sunny Mega Corp got started on the demolish work. No! Oh no, it's because of the article I originally wrote the first day. Now they're demolishing the place. I shouldn't have said yes. No, why am I an asshole? I don't even mean to be. Maybe I should call Larry. Oh shit. I don't know who I called. Hopefully Larry. Ah, he's not answering. Who was it? Oh, that was Larry. Okay, well, he's not answering, which is fine. Let's see, I have my money. Is there an ATM somewhere around here? Cause... Oh, and I never checked the mail either. I don't know if that's really important. No mail for me today. I'm gonna go check my ATM. See how much money I have. See if I have enough to possibly pay off my rent so I can get my ship before I leave. I guess I... Oh, shit. Guess I have no money. I have 430 bucks, which still isn't enough. Still isn't enough to get by. Best movie ever. I already have a movie ticket. I don't get it. Alright, this is going to the movie, not really going, shall I? Alright, I got to see two movies and I don't know exactly what any of that does. Wait, I probably check out the arcade. I haven't been in here yet. You checking my swag? I know you are. Indie Heroes capsule figures. Oh, my capsule. All right, let's buy one. Five dollars in the machine. Let's see what I got this time. 
Chobdor. Chobador. Sweet. Welcome to the Golden City Arcade. Arcade pass for 50 bucks. Alright, let's buy an arcade pass. I don't know exactly what it does. <laughs> Ugh. What the fuck? Whoa. Hey, how's it going? Relax, kid. Sorry, what are you playing? What were you playing? Uh, it's no big deal. It's dumb anyway. Only reason I'm playing is because the daily top score holders get free passes to Swag Fest. Problem is, this machine's already got a wicked high score nobody's been able to top. Whoever I've left this shit, he's a legend. Swag Fest? Dopest show in the world, shoddy. If it's hype, it's there. Blings, rims, many dim tings, ha ha. Best part is, they got free shit like everywhere. Everyone's just throwing shit at you all day. Most of it's garbage, but hell, you gotta love that price. Especially when you got those dorks on the internet willing to actually pay for it. Hell, I just sold a really stupid pin for like 10 bucks last week to that dude at the claw machine. He sucks at these games, so he buys the badges and shit to pretend like he can. But shit, 10 bones is nothing. I'm a baller to the core. I'm so rich, I'll let you play one for free. Unless you're scared, pretty lady. Top score is 150 points. Step aside, bitch. I got this. Don't hit the frogs. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Alright. Do I just gotta last a certain amount of time, or do I gotta get the people? Get the people! Get the people! Got it! <laughs> well, that's going. Oh! Justice served! Justice served! Avoid the cats. Okay. Getting those fucking people up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, these are all, like, characters. It looks like, uh, characters from Fuck You. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy's freaking legend. No! 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 All right, I got him. Got him. Where's... Is that it? Oh, there we go. Just served. 145. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah! I'm already at 150. Shit, shit, shit. No! 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 Get out of here! You freaking... Yes! 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 Alright, I got all of them. Now I just gotta avoid the dogs. Oh my god. It's like Carmageddon. Justice served. I already beat the high score. What is this guy smoking? I'm about to double it. Don't hit the frogs. Got it. That guy. Oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't fucking, shit, 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 that's all of them, now just hang out over here, holy crap, this game is probably the best one so far, <laughs> justice served, alright, I already like doubled, I already got over double, avoid the cats, got it, uh, yeah, yeah, man, where are you going, where are you going, where are you going, where are you going, uh, yeah, Oh boy, is this game gonna keep on going until I lose all my health? <laughs> Justice sir, 490. Urgh, fuck it, it's too much of the same shit, I'm not doing this anymore. Die! <laughs> Alright, cool. So is that the high score? Top cop, new high score, that's right. 2,160, that's over 2,000 more than the original. Pay up, buddy. Holy shit, 2,160 points? That's an amazing score. Hey, yo, Joe, this chick is legacy. Now I've got two to beat. Fuck. Yeah, mine's a little bit better. Sucks for you, Chance. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Come select your reward from the marvelous bevy of prizes. Cool. Move over, bitch. Yo, wait up, dog. You gotta take that swag fest pass. I'll buy it off you. Name your price. Hurry up. We're closing soon. Come in. That spider ring is pretty sweet if I do say so myself. Chicks love that shit, yeah? So what'll it be? Swag fest badge, really stupid pin, or spider ring? Swag fest badge. I'll take the swag fest badge, please. I guess. Good choice. The rest of this stuff is junk. Ah, uh, thanks. You got the swag fest badge. Oh, he's not gonna let me leave. What a prick. Well, I'm gonna talk to these guys first anyways. These guys are pretty evenly matched. They could win. I'll end up playing forever at this rate. Okay, cool. So you get the swag pass? I gotta have it. How much will you give me for it? 
Shit, my wallet's empty. If you come back to my place, I can get you square with whatever you want. Sure, let's go. Bala bala till you holla. All right, note to you guys. Don't actually go to a stranger's place to get to get currency or anything. Right, so welcome to my humble abode. Make yourself at home, but I won't have the jacuzzi ready until later. It's cooler in the back. I think it's got some beers if you want one. No wine coolers, though. Make yourself at home, and I'll be back out in a minute. All right, so we're actually going to be ending this episode right here, where we're going to be going into this creepy dude's apartment or house. And hopefully everything goes well and he doesn't turn out to be a major creep. So as always, thank you guys for liking the video. I really appreciate your feedback. Uh, so if you could please comment some suggestions of games you'd like to see me play. Or, you know, comment your opinion of the game. I'm really enjoying this game. Personally, I think this game's freaking amazing. I, there's nothing about this game so far I don't like. Uh, and as always, subscribing really helps. It motivates me. I always love seeing the... I gain a subscriber really makes me feel fucking amazing. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys very much. I hope I can see you in the next part of Always Sometimes Monsters. Have a good one. Goodbye!